Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas for UFC 181 alongside Brendan Schaub, who meets Travis Brown this Saturday night live on pay-per-view. Brendan, it's good to see you again. I like the beard. Is this a new look for you? You know, it's, it's like a playoff beard. You know, you know how hockey teams do it and, and uh, baseball, so it's the kind of the Schaub team playoff beard. So you'll shave it afterwards? Uh, shave it down. I like the look, man. I'm yeah. trying to look like you. We kind of look like brothers. Some have said the nose, the forehead. Well, your nose the nose is a little bigger. For sure. How about the, the forehead? Yeah, yeah, we have the same hairline. If we, if we lose some hair, if we have a receding hairline, we'll just have a normal forehead. Right, we're yeah. good, man. Our eyebrows are about to touch over yes, here. Yeah, true. man. I'm not well, it is good to see you again. It's been a while. Why have you had such a long layoff since June? Ask, ask the UFC. I, I, I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's the layout of the heavyweight division, and uh, you know, I don't like these incredibly long layoffs. It, you know, it's not good, and uh, what can you do, though? There's nothing I can do. I just train, get better, so I'm excited for Saturday night. Of course, much talked about your fight against Andre Arlovsky. Officially, it's a loss, but you come back and you fight number three guy, Travis Brown. So did you kind of take that as, all right, they didn't really view it as a loss as well? Yeah, 100%. You know, that's basically three wins in a row for me, and that, that's what you're going to get, a big name after you win, uh, put a streak together in a heavyweight division. Fighting the number three guy in the world, you know, it couldn't have worked out any better for me. So we're exactly where we should be, and uh, uh, we're just, it's the biggest fight of my career, so we're excited for this one. Were you surprised you got that fight? No, not at all. Not, not in the least bit. My, uh, my manager, Lex, called me, and uh, he goes, well, you got the fight you wanted. So, um, yeah, here we are. Since you were so disappointed in that performance, do you feel like there's pressure on you to kind of right that wrong in this fight, to do something spectacular so people stop talking about it? Not really. I don't think people are talking about that much. It was a horrible fight. You know, the decision, for sure, they're talking about the decision. I think the pressure is more on Travis Brown. He's number three in the world. He's number, the pressure's on, he's number three in the world. He switched camps. Pressure's on him, man. I'm going out there having fun. So let's talk about this uh, switching of camps. Uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, obviously uh, well documented that you said on the Joe Rogan podcast that it was uh, not in his best interest to make this move, to put it mildly, right? W can you expand on that? Why, why do you feel that way? Um... Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, re really, it's just, uh, it, it's, uh, you know, leaving Jackson's, I've, I've trained there, you're, you're leaving the, the, you know, stable, some of the best fighters in the world to, you know, I live in Los Angeles area, I go to every gym, I know the, the layout and the groundworks of mixed martial arts in Los Angeles, and I, I just think he made a, a wrong choice. He should have stayed in Albuquerque, in your opinion. No, no, I, I don't. I don't know his situation in Albuquerque. He, 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 it might have been a disaster there. Uh, maybe they're, uh, you know, massaging Alistair Overeem's ego too much. But I don't know what it is that made him leave. So I can't comment on that. I know there's better, you know, there's better camps to go to. So I had uh, Edmund Tarverdian on my show on Monday. I don't know if you heard about this, but he uh, sort of implied that you wanted to work with him at some point, and uh, it didn't work out, and that's why you're saying these things. Is that true? No, it's absolutely not true. Um, I, God, I, I, I don't know where, where that came from. Yeah, when I, when I came to L.A., I, I started working with Justin Fortune uh, at Fortune Gym, who's Manny Pacquiao's trainer, and uh, was working with him for a while. And then a, a friend of mine, Tom Watson, told me about Tony Jeffries because I wasn't getting what I needed from that trainer. And I started working with Tony. Um, Rhonda and I were very close friends. We had a barbecue, and she said, oh, you should work with Edmund. Edmund goes, man, I'd love to work with you sometime. And it was like, yeah, we'll figure it out, man. That, that was it. There was, there was no, I wasn't asking him. I, I didn't know who he was. Perhaps more eye-grabbing was him saying that he felt as though you couldn't fight for expletive. That's, that was his quote. Brendan, that? Edmund, what's your response to that? Uh, I, it, I, I can't be bothered by it. I don't, I don't care, man. That's like, that's like uh, Kimbo Slice's jiu-jitsu coach making fun of me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, you're on the striking coach. She wins every fight by submission, really, you know? So um, I, I don't care, man. He's putting more pressure on Travis. So, you know, it has also been talked about how Ronda is the, the one on that team that's winning, but some of the other fighters have struggled as of late. So do you think that too much stock is being put into him? Like it's, we're kind of getting blinded by Ronda's success and not looking at what the others are doing? Listen, even if, you know, I, I don't know Edmund. He might be the, the greatest boxing trainer in the world. However, uh, the credit should be going to Ronda's mom. If Ronda's mom was in Travis's corner, I'd be shitting bricks right now. <laughs> Ronda's mom's a beast, man. You know, she's the one that created this monster, Ronda Rousey. You know, not, not Edmund. You know, to take credit for that's crazy. Like I said, it'd be like walking to uh, the Kimbo Slice gym and his jiu-jitsu coach is selling you on, you know, striking. You know, it's, it, it doesn't work like that. How do you see the fight playing out? You know, vision it. Yeah, when I vision it, I just, uh, I just think I have too many ways to win. You know, and I, I think Travis, uh, he's the most dangerous heavyweight in the world, but uh, I'm a monster, man. Uh, just because he's, uh, you know, so dangerous doesn't mean he's a better fighter. I just think I'm a better fighter than he is.
More dangerous than Kane, Verdum, those guys, you think? Yeah, I do. I, I yeah, I, I think Travis, uh, you know, with his, with his style of fighting, is is more dangerous than those guys. I'm not saying he's a better fighter. Big difference. There's a difference between dangerous and, and being a good fighter. Did you watch the Verdum fight, and do you feel like he exposed some holes in his game? I do. I, I think uh, you know Verdum's the heavyweight champ right now, intern heavyweight champ. Um, I, I I just uh, you know some things we took away from that. I'll put it like that. Final thing, Timmy Tebow going to be here? Timmy is not coming. He, I know. Timmy's bad luck, after all. <laughs> he was in stuff, Vancouver. Bro. Okay, I'm sorry. So, he's, not, he's not bad luck. He, uh, he has a job with SEC Network, and they, they have a big night Saturday night. So, unfortunately, he couldn't come. But I, I got some other friends coming. Oh, like who? <laughs> like, what do you got? What do you got, man? VIPs? Uh, uh, maybe a little Jeremy Piven, maybe Ari Gold. Look at you. Crowd. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. What can you do? I think he was on your podcast recently. He was. He, w he was on The Fire and the Kid. And so Hollywood now. <laughs> Not really Hollywood, man. Just trying to be like you. Oh, wow. Just, just, just uh, you know, I'm pretty good on camera, pretty good on the radio, and uh, we got a good podcast, so it's good. Life's good, man. All right, well, uh, welcome back, and good luck in the fight. Looking forward to it. Appreciate it.